When starting a scenario, an initial briefing provides you with background information. In the upper right corner, you can find information about the patient's name, visit number, and date. On the lower part of the screen, you can find all the action menus. Dialogues. Start by asking the patient questions about their medical condition, current medications, risk factors, nutrition, among others. A relative or a caretaker might accompany them, and they're also able to answer some of your questions. Monitoring. Assess their vital signs through the monitoring menu and select which parameters to measure. After checking the vital signs, you can zoom out to the initial desk view by clicking outside the monitoring device. Physical exam. To conduct a comprehensive physical exam, the patient moves to the examination area. Here you can sit or lie the patient on the examination table using the poses menu or observe a specific body part by choosing different views. To measure the patient's weight and height, you'll be conducted to the scale. Once you finish, you may click on the physical exam menu to come back to the main space or click on the purple back arrow in the upper left corner to return to the initial desk view. Interventions. To perform all the necessary interventions, the patient also moves to another area of the room. Click on the interventions menu, select a category, and request the ones that you think are the most appropriate. Those who impact the patient directly will be registered in the medical records menu for your further analysis or review. Diagnostic tests. If the patient has past exam results or lab tests, they'll be listed in the medical records. Select the visit number, and the results will be available for your interpretation. Depending on your approach, several actions can be taken for the diagnosis and treatment of the patient, such as perform tests or request them prior to the next visit. Select a category and request the ones you think are the most appropriate. In the purple folder icon, you can double check the list of tests that are to be performed before or during the next visit. Prescriptions. The prescriptions menu lists current prescriptions, which can be kept active, withheld, or removed. Pharmacological and non-pharmacological prescriptions. Once a new prescription is selected, it is displayed in the current sub-menu. Call. Contact other specialists or departments. Require an expert assessment or refer the patient to undergo a specific intervention. How to end the visit and move on to the next one. If you want to end this visit and schedule the next one, click on the next button in the lower right corner. Just like in real life, some adverse events may occur, such as the patient failing to adhere to their prescription or an ER admission. This will have an impact on the following visit and challenge you to make new decisions. Thank you for watching.